I think Metal Burst is one of my favorite moves in the game. My favorite Metal Burst user is Sableye. And what's cool about Metal Burst is it actually goes off whatever speed tier you are. So unlike Counter and Mirror Coat, which go last, this goes off your own speed tiering. And it's either Lando or Thundee. I don't know which one I want. Thundee has Protect, which is actually like kinda nice. So I'll go Lando. Lando makes a better switch than a lot of the time. Yeah. It's me, it's pretty good for Sashi. All right. Let's see if we can make Metal Burst work this time. They should just hit the Zenta, man. They should just hit it. It's not even hard. So we can pop off. Pulp. Okay, they wanted. They wanted. They woke up and chose violence with that set. Okay. All right. So we're probably gonna have to max our send this game. Or, or we just uh, switch out in Sin for uh, for Grim to block the Wormwind and Metal Burst. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. Nah, I think I think this turn you just double into the Entity and get it off the board. I think that's probably right for this first first turn. I know they're maxing the pull. Oh, they're not maxing? Alright, then he's just dragon dancing. Next turn. There's the DD. I don't I, I want him to get stronger. <laughs> Please get stronger so my metal burst will be stronger. Alright, so hopefully we can take out this entity, right? <laughs> I could also just max my sin probably and go for like a max darkness. Maybe we even... I don't even know if we take it out here. Alright, where it's up. Lerioto. Oh, thank goodness. Alright. Metal Burst busted. Best move in the game. Alright, let's, let's see what happens here. Zacian? If you send out Zacian, we'll see how this goes for me. Whims. Okay. Huh. I'm, d I'm clicking Metal Burst. I think it's good to switch in the uh, Grim here. Oh, I would really hate it if he, went click, like, if he clicks V Gleam here and then like a Metal Burst, like a weak ass V Gleam. That would suck. Alright. Let's go. You gonna max that pulp, bro? Are you using Wormwind here? Are you worm winning my instant slot? Or are you going after the boy Zenta? What you working with over there, big pulp? Let's find out. Let's find out. There has to be Zashi in the back too, so we know this. Helping hand. Alright, Zenta, I don't know. Can I can I eat a plus two? <laughs> worm win. Ah! <laughs> like I care. Metal Burst. I mean, I don't, I still don't care. <laughs> okay. Let's just bash that. Alright, that was funny. One D Max turn wasted, that's right. We'll never get the metal burst. That was a good play from him though, because like you go for the worm window, drop the attack on the Zenta. I'm gonna put him to bed. It's bedtime. Good night, good fight. Helping hint. Are you are you round two of me right now? <laughs> Phantasm. What if I use metal burst? You would be so dead! <laughs> It's crazy. It's crazy. It's fine. Orb. Nice orb, bro. Alright. People sleep on G Max Grim. It's such a good one. Awesome. Sash is up.
I used Metal Burst like five times. It never worked. All right, he's almost gone. Next turn, he'd be done, so. No snooze. Oh, no snooze. No, never lucky. All right, let me think about this. I don't care if he hits my Zenta. What could I switch to? I could switch to Sin. Yeah. Yeah, I think you just switch to Sin. Could have also just bursted the, uh, not burst, uh, Behemoth bashed the Dragapult, probably. G-Max Grimm's good. Good mod, for sure. We have Fake Out Pressure for next turn, too, if Vincent gets to live. I wonder if they're helping Handing again or just going for, like, Deagling. Phantasm. So it looks like they're probably just going for the Deagling. Yeah, we live. We thriving. Oh my gosh, that's so much damage. So much damage. We're gonna stick the Snooze on the Grimm, by the way. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready to stick Snooze on Grimm? Because we're going to fake out the Grim to seal it and snooze through its protect. I'm excited. Moonblast. He wanted it. He wanted it. And we're just kind of doing this to make sure our Grim gets to stick around until like, the next turn so we can also just throw up like a Reflect. Reflect. Switch out for Lando the turn after that. Get like three Intimidates on the Zashi and then we get to go. Maybe we'll get to Metal Burst the Zacian. There's the Zacian. Alright. You guys ready for this? Oh, I can't fake out. No one no one reminded me. You see this fake out? You see this freaking juicy ass terrain of psychicness? That sucks. That sucks. I can G Max guard my Grim this turn though. And fart of the Zenta and bring it out. No, that's not even worth it. If he takes out the, um... Grim, he takes the Grim out. I don't think it matters. Sorry, not Grim. If he takes out Insidious, he takes Insin out. It doesn't matter. Let's see who goes after. He's going after my Insin. You jerk! You jerk! You just ignored my Grim. Never ever lucky us, right? All right, let's think about this. I can set my reflex. You turn, and then he won't have enough damage to break my Zenta. So, like, reflect you turn. It gets me like another intimidate value. Alright. He wants it. You went after my Lando? I mean, you're at neutral through a reflect. Can you not crit my Lando? <laughs> no, it's not offensive. It doesn't have any points. And if he goes after the uh, Grim, it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's nice. Because next turn you want to have the helping hands, and we get another intimidate the turn after. Perfect. All right, Zenta, it's your time to shine. He's gonna sacred sword it, but I don't know if I die. I have a Reflect up. And Sacred Sword ignores, like, my boost, my defense boost, but it doesn't ignore, like, attack drops. I'm gonna use it. Rests up. I'm gonna switch to Lando in, too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play Greedy, because I want, I want to play right Rest game. You can totally hit me with a... What is it? Behemoth Blade. Then I'll be fine. Another Intimidate. So he's at minus one with a reflect. Do I die? Yo! <laughs> oh, this game's hilarious. Full heal, though. 
Oh, it's gonna get worse for this guy before it gets any better. Yeah. That was funny. <laughs> It's, I'm gonna wake up too. Behemoth Blade, you can hit that Lando slot. This should keep him out of range of the Lando on this last turn, though. If this even KOs. Pro, you only got a couple more of those left, you know. Alright, Zenta. Snooze, you lose on him. Let's go. Sleep talk. <laughs> Yo, let's go. Rasp. Never lucky. How am I supposed to show this is the best set ever created when I can't get anything out of it? And so right now, I can sleep talk Metal Burst. Have I shown Metal Burst at all? I have, yeah. So it's like, he might try and go after me to like punish me. Or, <laughs> I mean, he goes after the Grim, but then I wake up and I just Behemoth Bash him. So who are you going after? Who are you going after, huh? I wonder if I, if I Metal Burst and I Earthquake how that works. Like, do I have Metal Burst my own Lando? Sleep talk, let's go. Survey says. Behemoth Bash. Oh, it's, and it doesn't take a PP off my Behemoth Bash. That's really good. That's so nice. Damn. That's good damage. Eventually they're gonna have to hit me. Yes. That is, the cor that is correct. Eventually they will have to hit me and I will get to burst them. You know what? I'm a. I'm, I'm just gonna win. <laughs> Even if I crit my Zenta, I've, I'm not dead. And if I crit my Zenta, I'll kill the Zashian. Cause I kind of wanted to fly this turn just to like meme. I wonder if he's gonna like protect. Oh, he just scoops. Oh man, we take those. <laughs> Yo, Zashian. Getting, getting flexed on by Zenta, that was funny. And I think you just bring the instant. I think if you just over prepare for dealing with um, Shadow Rider, we'll be fine. Let's see it. I would love it if you just let me go for the biggest burst of all time. Hopefully they would kill the, the Calyrex, but I have no idea. It depends on where you are on the ladder. Like, are you in Master Ball? Loving the nice view. Yo, thank you. Thank you. All right, let's see what you got. Hmm. Like, if they just go, like, Helping Hand, Astral Barrage. Okay. Who are you going after with this? That's a good question, right? Are they going after the Zenta? If you were them, would you go after the Zenta here? Would you? I, I cause like, I can just get my Grim up actually. So I, I think the right play is to just fish for the burst and just switch in the Lando because like you can't electric attack that slot. Max up against Zenta, oh, good luck. Good luck trying to break me, bro. I'm a Zenta. I'm a restricted one. And you got 50 base health over there. <laughs> or what is it, 80? I don't even know what his base health is. He's thinking about it. Leave my Grim alone. I, I could have light screened to make sure I didn't die. Nah. I'd rather tunnel their attacks into where hopefully they just hit the Zenta. I think what a lot of people do when they see Zama Zenta is they just ignore it. And so I'm going to force him to have to hit it. Switcheroo. That's right, you failed. Electroweb. Yo! You know what happens when you Electroweb, right? You know what happens when you Electroweb? You get bursted! <laughs> oh, we take those. Bursted, boys! <laughs> we take those. He switcherooed my... He tried to switcheroo my Zenta. So that's wrong. So, I mean... We know he has an item that is not the correct one. Grim's better. We've already shown the Ensign, so it's better to keep that hidden. We just want to bring in a Dark-type. You can taunt me, I don't care. 
And I don't think you can taunt Metal Burst. Switcheroo, go for it. <laughs> Yo, nice try. Nice try. Hot hyper hyper beat. Woo! <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> oh my gosh. No thank you. <laughs> Metal Burst is like counter and mirror coat built in. This should just KO. Yep. No eject button for you, buddy. But yeah, it's like built in one. So instead of it dealing double damage from a physical or special attack, it can soak either physical or special and it bounces back 1.5. Yeah, you can't switch through the Zentas. Okay. I think I'm gonna reflect and burst. This time. I will do full life chat. He remember he dropped my speed. So like I should be slower than Slando right now. Burst up! And I'm saving my Lando and in, in, in the back, so like I have super big Intimidate value right now. I mean, it'd be cool. All right, don't kill me. You could do a lot of damage. Just don't kill me. Reflex up. Grim shows what you're working with. I'm happy to see him max that because now we know. Now he knows he can't like uh, set the electric terrain. You could Thunderbolt me. I should. I should be fine. Airstream. Okay, well I'll be able to burst something. Someone's getting bursted, boys. Someone's getting bursted. That's that's all you they that's all anyone needs to know. Burst. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> that's so awesome. Yo, that big burst. No, that's the crit guy. He cares not about my screens. Only when he's auto auto critting though. I can keep this Grim and, and try and spirit break it, but I don't think that's the right play. I think it's better to try and switch in the Lando. If I have to max my Insin here, that's really bad though. So I think actually we do switch the Insin in. So we can save our Lando to max. These are his last two. <laughs> I wonder if he's thinking I'm gonna burst. I wouldn't be surprised if he doubled into the Grim slot. Yeah, we'll see. He just doesn't want to get bursted on anymore. So this Intimidate here is gonna be really, really nice. If he goes for close combat, he won't KO with Urshifu. There's a Reflect and an Intimidate. So like Wicked Will also just won't KO Zenta, so it's no big deal. I think if he doubles into Zenta, he could probably get the KO. Is that a wider? Not bad. So airstream, I'm completely fine with it. Sin taking like any amount of damage that he wants to deal here. It's right within the range to park my berry too, which is super nice. That's really, really good. Cause I don't think um I don't think Urshifu can take us out from here either. And then we can fake out plus next turn. Or we can even like switch in our, our uh Yeah, I think next turn I might just switch in. Wicked blow, who are you going after, buddy? It won't KO my Zenta. You will not. Zenta. Rise from the ashes and show us your skills. Rest. Oh, doesn't that feel good? Doesn't that just feel good? I think that feels pretty good. Oh my gosh, that's so much health. Uh, we take those. All right, so like, there's a couple things gonna happen here. I actually do think that like we want to switch in our uh, Lando here. I could sleep talk that burst because I think he's gonna quake our Ensign. I could switch in the Grim. I guess that's actually that's actually a better play. You switch in the Grim, just straight fodder it. Um, and that way we get to use the Incense fake out. We get to use our Lano and Max. And then we just, we leave the rest to you. There we go. We leave the rest to you, Zamazenta. Airstream, I'm so happy I switched in the Grim. I'm so happy I switched in that Grim. Yo, he has to hit me. Can I sleep talk Metal Burst right now? Show me a sleep talk Metal Burst. Show it to me. Show me sleep talk Metal Burst. I want to see it so bad. Wicked Blow, that's fine. Sleep Talk Metal Burst. Let's do this! Come on, Zenta. Come on, right now, right now. He has no idea this is about to be happening. Let's go. Uh, Sleep Talk. 
Metal burst. Metal burst. Damn it, why does that always happen? <laughs> oh, that sucks. All right, we're just gonna switch the instant in. Ah, oh, that's so lame. Oh, you actually wanna fake out the Lando here? Cause his Urshfu is gonna protect anyways. Cause he's gonna go detect Urshfu Earthquake. Actually, do I care? Yeah, this is the right one. Okay, round two. Sleep talk, metal burst. Do it, do it, do it. Oh, no, no, no protectors. Okay, are you choice? That works for me. I'm a metal burst this turn, right? It's random. Behemoth bash. Yes! Someone's taking damage. Let's go. Damage dealt. Mischief managed right now. Aha! That's free damage. It's just straight free damage. I think we just double into that slot. No, it's completely random. Show me that protect EQ. You've been talking about it. I know you've been thinking about it. Rock Slay. Nah, no, never lucky. I should use another one. And Sin's thick right now. You know, we could blow it. This guy really doesn't like Incineroar, man. Oh! He's ignoring Incineroar now. Wake up. Boy, he moved back. That's right. So if you, as long as you don't flinch my sin, we're going to be golden right now. I think that Urshu might be choice. Because he's only used uh, Wicked Blow straight up. What? Never lucky. Never lucky. That sucks. You don't want to switch the Lando in. We just save the... If we save Lando till the end, we win. There's the EQ. Yo, hit your Urshfu harder, Chief. Break that sash for me. Are you gonna close combat here? Are you going all in this turn? No, he's still going to That won't do anything. Lando does not... Or sorry, um... What is it? Zenta does not care. Zenta cares not. Rest up. Yeah, because we haven't even maxed yet, guys. That's the thing. It's like, I, I guess I'll max. <laughs> I'm about to just... I want to win that first. How intimidated are these teams, man? All right. Sleep talk. Definitely go after the Urshfu in this situation. Battle's canceled. I'll take the wins. We, we be taking those. I mean, I really want to try using the Zenta correctly. I really want to try it. I want to save my Sin to switch in um, if I need to. Let me think about this, actually. So if, like, if I were to leave like this, wouldn't this really tunnel him into going after um, the Zenta slot? And like, let's say he led Groudon Zard. That's probably my worst case scenario. I could still switch out Lando uh, to make it so he has like a double Intimidate up. So like I switch out like that. And then I'm thinking about what I need to do to win the late game. I kind of want to put Thunder Wave on this Grim. I don't think we need Thundee. Thundee's only good as a Maximon, but like Lando can get that job done. And I have, I have a feeling that like they wouldn't really let Thundee pop off anyways. Grim Style's okay. I think I'm just going to bring the Alcremi. I just like this Pokemon and being able to switch this in to stop sleep is really, really nice. It's, it's really, really nice. I just gotta not go for rest when my Alcremie's on the board, right? Alright. So let's see. Let's see what we can get here. Yo, is that another sub? Yo, thank you so much. Marco, my friend, taking the Twitch Prime. And also King. King Longster. Guys, thank you guys both for those subs. I really do appreciate it. Hope you guys are having a great weekend so far. I appreciate both of you guys. I don't really care about this guy sitting in Trick Room. Because I want him to set the Trick Room. I want him to set Trick Room. So my Zenta can underspeed that Groudon. 
So it'd be nice. It'd be nice. Droughts up. I think we're just gonna switch in my Lando. Um, I want to see if we. I want to see how Oregon gets. I want to see if he gets a boost here. Like download to special attack. Yeah. So I'm gonna. Have, I'm actually just gonna party shot that because I think the Groudon's either gonna. I think Groudon's gonna protect. You actually need to stick some damage on it too. So like this is super greedy, but I'm gonna do it. He's at minus one. No problem. Love your content. I appreciate it. Which drop? Yo, show me that Zard. Yo, oh, that's nice. Come on, right in with my Lando. This is like one of the first times you've ever seen me go for like turn one party shot. I never. I'm not a big party shot guy. Um, but smart play here. Is he just gonna earthquake like an absolute champion? <laughs> That'd be nuts. That's fine with me. So we do outspeed the Groudon. Um, and that's actually a good amount of damage. I'm surprised he didn't max it. He is at minus one, so he, he does go with the SD. That's completely fine. Like, I actually thought that that was totally okay. Um, let's see, though. We're coming. We're parting shot on the Zars. He's going to take a check of solar, solar power damage. We just need to bring in a Mon that checks Groudon. And remember, he's only at plus one right now. We're going to bring in Lando, make him uh, go down to, um, you know, minus. He's going to be down at neutral. I kind of just want to bring the Alcremy in and just Behemoth Bash. I think that's actually a better play. Is it a better play? It's hard to say. I think I think I think this is the right play. Um, do we outspeed that Groudon? Do you guys think my Alcremi outspeeds Groudon? Because we can just encore him into Swords Dance. <laughs> That'd be sick. <laughs> I'm fine with Alcremi here. Don't want to melt you. I mean, he's at minus one right now, so like I don't think he can. I actually want to do this. No, that doesn't work. I know that I'm not passing my boost off this way. I know that Kermi is slower than Zenta, but I still think this is the right play. Because he's just bringing the Lando, and it lets me save. He just goes for a heat wave. Go for it. Go for it, bro. Don't get metal burst, dude. Yeah, Alkrim doesn't outspeed Zenta. Yo, is that a, is that a raid? 17 player raid. HK. Uh, for, sh for Shiki, 17 people. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. That's amazing. Please don't kill my Alcremi. Yo, yo, yo. Thank you. You're at plus one right now. Can you be at plus none? Ugh, that's a lot. We had a plus one defense, and he was only at plus one like Groudon. So are you orbed? Or was the Zard orbed? I didn't really see it. Dang it, man. Never lucky. That's fine. That hurts. Um, we do have the Groudon significantly weakened, though, so he's a bad max option. And then we got to think about what they have in the back. They probably have Venusaur in the back. They're wasting most of their sun turns. The only problem I have here is Porygon's going to be, like, really hard to get off the board. And if it has, like, Ice Beam, it's going to be really, really hard to deal with. Groudon is useless. We're going to actually just ignore the Groudon. Because that's Scarf Groudon. Sorry, that's Scarf, uh, Scarf Zard. So we'll see how we get, we'll see how we do here. But thank you so much for the raid. That's really kind. Um, yeah, I th like I said, I think I'm going to ignore the Zard. <sighs> I mean, we have to... We have to do it like that. And... Like this? That's mostly Scarf Zards right now. I, I think he's Scarfed. Awesome. If you want to switch in your program here, that would actually help me out a lot, by the way. You've many your rental teams. Got me to Master Ball many times. Appreciate it. Happy to hear it. Happy to hear that one. Attack boost, we take those. If you're maxing your Zard, I feel bad for you, son. <laughs> I mean, I know you're trying to stick the wildfire, but you're still at minus one. So you're like at neutral right now. Ah, let's see though, maybe I should have rock balled? No, I don't feel bad about this. We have to stick one airstream into Groudon. And also we're gonna be getting a quake boost out of the turn after this. So this is really nice. I wonder if they're quaking too. He does outspeed me, but like next turn we're just gonna hit his Zard in the face. So we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. So he has these two plus Groudon we know of. I think if he had like an Sin somewhere, he might have brought that out. That's one of the reasons why I quaked there instead of airstreaming. I could have airstreamed the Groudon, I definitely could have. Um, I really thought we, we would be switching in something weird. So there's the wildfire, it's not gonna do a ton. Thick on this Lando set, by the way. Like, we are dummy thick Lando. Um, I can almost say I just ignore the Zard. Because we're Darkest Lariating, which is not doing a ton. Um, yeah, because the Zard also doesn't have, like, 
the Zard does not have a uh, a life orb. He's part he's parting shot. I'm actually just gonna ignore it. I think I'm gonna airstream and flare blitz down the Porygon just to get it off the board. Say no trick room, and then it'll let me outspeed the Zard for the turn after. And so I can rock ball the Zard. Flare blitz will probably kill Groudon because it can't max, and it'll be good to go. Cool beans. All right, I'm feeling it right now. Unless we fight against the Protect Porygon 2 player. Oh my gosh, can we not? <laughs> Maybe he's going to ally switch me a little now. Maybe he'll just hard switch it into Groudon. Yeah, we'll see. I'm not, he's probably thinking I'm going to rock follow him, and I'm just not. So, like, I wouldn't even be surprised to see, like, a Max Guard Zard here. Just because he's trying to, he's trying to do most of the damage with Lot. He thought that was going to do a lot more. He forgot that I stuck a, a party shot into it, I think. Yeah, we'll see. We will see. Rock Ball. Rock Ball Zard! So it's boost off H-Bar, so no more Sun. Uh, that, that works. Yeah, this instance is actually really thick. So that does suck, though. I don't know if I can actually kill the Porygon this turn, because I was planning on that Sun to give me the boost uh, to my Flare Blitz, so that actually does really, really suck. But unless the Porygon's recovering, um... I'm just gonna be in a great spot. Yeah, I don't think Incent takes out it without the Sun. Probably Vested Zard if they have Rock Ball. It's totally possible, but he shouldn't have been faster than my Zenta. They haven't sent the emails yet. Let's see if we take it out. Yo, come on, it's Sin. Big in Sin? In Sin, not big. Never lucky. That's bad. That's not good. That's fine. I don't care about I don't care about the damage. Um, because he's gonna get ticked out by sand. Um, and now we outspeed him, right? So that's really, really good. Yeah, Scarf Star would have space range power. Yeah, it's pretty sure he's scarfed. He would have been outspeeding the Zenta. So Porygon goes down. Um he's gonna bring his Groudon out, but his Groudon can't max. This is his last turn max on Zard, and now we know that we outspeed. Um, so, like, I can probably kill that with Rockfall. And then it's basically just up to Incineroar to be able to Flare Blitz down the Groudon. See, I'm actually thinking about, like, this, like... I kind of want to just Airstream the Zard. Do you guys think I can kill the Zard with Airstream? Or should I... I think... Because mm, if I Rockfall the Zard, I take away the Sun, and I think I need it. Um, I think I'm actually just going to Airstream the Zard. Because I want I want to keep the flare blitz. If he protects the ground, he protects the ground on. I think that's fine. Yep. I just want to stick these uh, speed boosts here. The Zard should go down just because if this doesn't KO the uh... awesome, that still takes out. That'd be great because the solar power ticked him out too. So we take a last take of wildfire. Um, it really depends on what his last mon is, but I think our incinerator right now outspeeds the ground on. I'm, I'm assuming, and I think I can KO with flare blitz. But we'll see. We'll, we'll see. The fact that Incineroar doesn't take damage from Wildfire is like really, really nice. So yeah, let's see what his last mod is. If his last mod is something like super good, uh, we're in a bad spot. But I think we're gonna be okay. So we can also stick a rock side to do just a little bit more damage to Groudon. Venusaur. Uh, we, out we don't outspeed Venusaur, actually. We do not outspeed Venusaur here. Um, and Wildfire's taking for one more turn. We don't outspeed this Venusaur, guys. I just want to throw that out there. This Lander set will not outspeed that Venusaur. This oh, oh, we're hoping that he's built weird. I also think that's fine. Um, because I wanted to hit the ground with this Flare Blitz, so I think that's okay. As long as long as you outspeed it, right? So hopefully Groudon goes down. This is sun boosted. Yes. And he's gonna proc my citrus berry. And you can totally put the incend to sleep. Um next turn, but like that's fine. Lando's gonna wake up eventually. This is the last turn. So we have to actually stick the damage into the Lando while eating the Foible for next turn. Um let me actually think about what I want to do here. Do you guys think that's wide lens Venus or Sash? I'm thinking it's actually Wide Lens. Um, I think Sash would be better. But I do think it's Wide Lens. I'm just going to try and do Rock Slide. Yeah, if you waste a turn putting uh, Incident Sleep Lando wakes up, I agree. I should probably wear it first, but I, I think it's Wide Lens. 
Yeah. I, I think th I think this playstyle just screams wide lens, so this is fine. So Anderson is going to wake up relatively soon, I would say. And he only has a couple more turns of sun left. Can you totally hit the land of this turn? I just want to break Sash if he has it, so I'm just going to go for a move that doesn't miss. Now let's see if he wants to, like, weave store my Lando. You know what I mean? Weather Ball in the sun. So, Weather Ball, that's a little bit weird. It is. It is a little bit weird. I would say that's still weird. On that set, and he gets a crit. Never lucky. Never, ever lucky. How we go? Never lucky. Weather Ball. It means he doesn't have Earth Power, I think. It's for Zashian, I'm sure. Yeah, so Earth Power, Weather Ball, Sleep Powder. Okay. Okay. Yo, wake up. Are you... So what's the item, chat? Chat, what is the item? Are you Sash? Can we just get a burn if you're Sashed? He was Sash? He just hit two Ross Sleep Powders being Sash. He just hit two Ross Sleep Powders being Sash. Can I get a burn? Cool, we just lost. <laughs> uh, uh, that sucks. I should have worried it first. That's my fault. Ugh, that hurts, man. I wonder if he's just gonna go for the Earth Power. Oh, I forgot to outspeed him. The sun's gone. I win. Haha. -ha. I forgot. I forgot. We all forgot. Everyone forgot. I'm busted. Sun's gone. Yo, yo, yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> I forgot. Yo, we take those. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I'll take those. I'm not used to my Incineroar outspeeding the things. You didn't forget. Yo, you're the wise player. Wise choice. I don't even know if I want to go with Grim. I actually want to look like as injured as possible. Lando's a hard sell here, but I think it can work. Alright. Let's see it. I wonder if that's like Trick Room Shadow Rider. That'd be nuts. What is it like? Uh... Trick Room, Room Service, Shadow Rider. That sounds like fun, actually. Like, speed reduced, quiet, Room Service, Shadow Rider. That actually sounds like a lot of fun, to be honest. All right. So let's see if we can get some wins here. I just want my one not crit game. I wanna know how much damage we take, by the way, from the Shadow Rider too, because I, like, I could have led with like Grim and set screens, right? But I liked this lead because the Amoongus can't do anything to this board. Room service says if there's Trick Room on the board, it cuts your speed. Gives you a speed drop. All right, show me the move. Show me the life orb damage. Just do it. Yo, just do it though. How about you just hit me with that? All right, you guys ready? Don't sub. I'll be so sad. If you sub, I'm sad. I should have encored the Shadow Rider. If I encore the Shadow Rider and pop the Metal Burst, that covers all my options. Cause like, it sucks, it would suck to lose my Kermie Sash to the Astral Barrage, but like Amoongus can't spore us right now. He could Rage Powder, but I could, I could encore that next turn too. So it's like, I'm, I'd be in a really good spot. So I should have actually encored. Because worst case scenario, we'd be encoring the Rage Powder too, which would help us know like what we're going to have to fight against for the next few turns. He's maxing. Okay. Are you going after my Alcremi, or are you going after the legend Zamazenta? I will Metal Burst you into the next phase of existence. Just hit my Zenta. Just do it. Just do it. Do it, do it, do it. Protect Amoongus like I care. I can encore that. Phantom. Zenta, Zenta! My life, man. Ah, it's so annoying! Ah! Why can't they just hit the Zenta? Man. Sleep here. 
Good thing I have Sleep Talk, so I can Sleep Talk my Metal Burst next turn. <sighs> I'm at minus one defense, or I'm, I'm back down to neutral. I think it was really afraid of Scarf all Kremi, but Protect's good too. Pretty much of a wasted Intimidate. If we just wait out the max turns, though, we'll actually be in a pretty good spot. Max Quake. What? Now? What if I Metal Bursted? What if I Metal Bursted? Can we play Pokemon? This guy makes no sense. He didn't even Rage Powder. Alright. No, he didn't hit me. Sound base moves hit, hit them. He just didn't hit me, so Metal Burst, Metal Burst can't Metal Burst anything if he doesn't hit me. Yeah, he's gonna spore my Zenta, I think. And then we'll go Melt Burst him. Sludge Bomb! Okay. Can you not poison me? Fuck! That hurts! That is so bad. That's so bad. I was thinking about maxing and sin that game, too. He's just gonna protect the Amoongus. Rage Power, that's fine. Alright. Okay. He's sitting not dead. It's the last turn of their max, thank goodness. Thank goodness! I think it's like a Sash. I actually think it could be Sash Shadow Rider. He's not showing. Um, like we'll see if it's Sash here. Um, oh, just kidding. He dumb. He big thick. Oh, he like thick thick. <laughs> I want to see what move he's using. Is it Spore? That's why I rested, by the way. Sorry, he rage powdered. Yeah. Um. Yeah, this is fine. It's time, chat. You can Rage Powder me if you want. You could, uh, Astral whatever. I think it's fine to protect with Alchemy here. If the Moongus goes for, like, a weird play, we can Encore it. If the Shadow Rider goes for a weird play, I mean, he's just gonna Astral or, like, Mud Shot or something. And then we'll Metal Burst him off our Sleep Top. And we'll finally get it. Just, just let me get it, though. Just, just let me get it. I need this. He's thinking about it. You need to switch out your Amoongus, my, by the way. I'm just telling you right now. You have a generator. Save that thing. It's a good Pokemon. Okay, don't listen to me. Rage Powder, then? Okay. That's another thing. You try and fodder. Because I also don't know how Metal Burst interacts with that. Astral Barrage. How much damage do you actually do to Arzenta? That's the question. Shouldn't do a million, a million percent. That's not a million percent. Sleep top, let's go, let's go. Let's go. All right, I'll take it. We took out Amoongus, wins up. How does Sleep Top work with choice items? I mean, if you're, so the way it would work is like you would switch in, get put to sleep, and then you'd be locked into Sleep Talk. You'd be locked into Sleep Talk, pretty much. But there's a lot of choice sets in the past on, like, Pokemon that just don't have wide move pools uh, that have used Sleep Talk in the past. Like, there's Sleep Talk used to be pretty big on Hydreigon and Salamence back when those ran choice sets. Just when, like, Sleep would be big. So it would, it would you would weed it into, like, you know, Scarf Spormons, uh, Scarf Smeargle and Scarf Darkwood and things like that. And they put you to sleep and you just turn one Sleep Talk. That is going to be a problem. We're going to have to Metal Burst, I think. Just kidding. Are you guys ready? Let's pop off Alcrem me. This is the time. The time is now. Give me my health back. <laughs> so my Zenta doesn't get dumpstered. Guy probably thinks I was about Dynamax and my Zenta. 
No, we maxed out Kremi in this house. You are going to use Astral Barrage, and I will use Metal Burst. I'll win the game. Foil healing like I care. Okay, like I care. I hope that he's not like, I hope he's like right under full. Perfect. Awesome. Astral Barrage. We take those? Zenta big nap time? Yo, Zenta, can you uh not be big nap time and use a metal burst? Metal burst? Metal burst. Show it to me. Fuck! <laughs> I want it so bad. I need this health back though. And he's gonna be able to get his health, he's gonna be able to foil healing to get his sash back, but like I still think it's like the va the value health that we're getting on Zenta is so nice here. And and El Cremio, I guess good. I actually don't know if you can sleep talk metal burst because like it's probably failed like 15 times by now <laughs> but we'll just click the metal burst button and we'll just double into that slot protect yeah that's it oh protect come fail like i care why would i hit the come fail when i could just win the game astral barrage we did it boys <laughs> No, he crit me! Is there a crit? Stop critting me! I just want one game! I want one game of Pokemon where I don't get crit. And you know what? I'll take this. I'll- t I- I'll take this. You- get bursted, alright? Get bursted. You- you get bursted. Calyrex player. Extraordinaire. And crits every time. Every time I get crit, man. It's not easy being me right now. Zenta be thick. Zenta be nimble. Zenta be quick. Zenta always gonna live the crit. Oh, it's the last mon. Oh, they have one more mon, right? This is the last mon? Oh, goodness. Okay. I can't rest, right? I'm just throwing this out there. Like, I, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> Did we just... I think we actually just bash the uh, Kumfei, lose the Zenta... And then we, I don't know if we win, if we do that, because we'd be giving so many boosts. It's fine. Oh, you want it, want it. Nah, fam. I thought about switching Lando in that slot, but then I thought to myself like, or not switching, I thought about switching out my Alcremi for Lando and popping a rest. But then I'm like, I'm still asleep, and it's still weird, you know? Uh, there's a high chance that, like, he uses the wrong move, like a high horsepower, and then we just encore him. Why are you not dead? Just throw that out there. You're not dead because why? <laughs> what? <laughs> that's weird. That's that's not good for, for business. Show me Quake. Or not Quake. Show me, like, a high horsepower or something. Yo, thank you for the sub, Schmitty. I appreciate the gifted sub, the fadeaway gifted sub. Thank you so much, my friend. I really, really do appreciate that. Hope we're having a great one. Hopefully, hopefully your phone gets charged, right? <laughs> Sento, are you gonna die? Oh, thank goodness. We killed the, the raid boss down. Horsepower, we just won. And we got crit. He probably thinks he's gonna win. He's like, oh shit, I just won. He's looking at this board. He's like, I just beat this guy if the last mon's Lando or Thundee. And it's Lando, and he's like, oh, it's Lando, I win. All I need to do is use Icicle Crash. And you know what? I, I have bad news. You will not be able to use Icicle Crash. Unfort, I know. I know, unfort. You can't use Icicle Crash. You gotta use High Horsepower. Alright, that's good damage. Single target. Do one over half. High Horsepower. <laughs> um, yeah, that's game. Three cheers for last year. No! No cheers! Just wins for me. That's all that we want. We just want wins for me. You'll love to see it. Oh, man, we did it. We did it. We used Metal Burst. <laughs> we used Alcrebi. We Dynamaxi Alcrebi. We decorated. Oh, man. It's not easy.